Hello everybody and thank you for tuning into 1111 Synchronicity Tarot. I am back with another reading. So let's just hop straight into it. Okay. Angel spirit guides, ancestors of mine of the highest white light. Give me some messages here for my YouTube collective, please. And thank you. here got ghosted or blocked or blocked off here let's see who this is they got ghosted or blocked off cut off Okay, somebody here, y'all, cut off somebody or some something or a place, a person, place, or thing here, okay, to have a new beginning. And then on the back of the deck, you got Ace of Cups here. So somebody here definitely, y'all, I def, you know, made some changes in their life here. And they, they went uh, on a blocking spree. You get blocked, you get blocked, you get cut off, you get cut off, you get cut off, okay? Because this person wants a new beginning with you. This is somebody here that's ready to start a family. And he feel like this is a good time to start a family here with you here. This is definitely somebody y'all that want to come in and get you pregnant. Okay, so he's definitely wanting children with you. Definitely a loving family here. Spirit is saying it is safe for you to love this person. It is like a faded um event between you and this person like it's fated for you all to be together here all right Give me some more messages here for the collective. All right, so this is this is your divine masculine. All right, and this is somebody here that want to make it work by any means. So this person definitely could be coming in, y'all, to give you um, <laughs> a romantic love offer. You know, they could be wanting to give you gifts. Um, you know shower you with gifts you know just make it work by any means and doing any and everything like whatever it is that you want you can have it's like you can have whatever you like like that's literally what i'm getting either this person finna get ready to come to you or you finna get ready to go to this person here okay i'm hearing fluid out you finna get ready to get fluid out okay but yeah this person definitely want to make it work here and he could if it's going to be an apology but like maybe some gifts attached to that apology or like a hip and hand doing something for you really 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 nice here okay yeah your person is falling in love it's like bro i'm over here tripping bro because i wasn't even expecting to fall in love like i was not expecting to fall in love i wasn't expecting to because y'all i get this is somebody here that when you all met had his options open and i don't feel like this man here 
was looking for somebody to settle down with and be committed to nobody. Now, I don't know if he told you that, okay? But that is the energy. Like, that's what I'm getting. Like, this man was not planning on falling in love with nobody, being in nothing committed or anything. Like, but he fell in love with you. And, baby, you got this man trip, tripping. You got him stumbling. Okay? Because he falling in love with you. And, 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 and. He, he done fell in love and it's so deep. The love runs so deep for you, collective. It's like he can't it he can't walk away. Even if he tried to walk away. It's like he he has like this magnetic pull towards you. It's like you it's like he just can't get away from you. He's gravitated towards you. And you know, maybe, you know, it could have been where he did, you know tried to date around and meet people and mingle and all that have fun you know there's a single person and all that kind of stuff but baby you got this man stumbling and tripping now because he's like whoo my heart done got attached he know it come on now it's a difference between you and all these other folks it's a, it's a difference it's like i feel like your person don't get attached like that like he it's easy for him to boom bam thank you ma'am you go on about your way, okay, we ain't got to talk, we ain't got to speak, we ain't got to do none of that, and he can move. Not with you. Not with you. You know what I'm saying? This man, it's like, bro, I cannot get over this woman. I cannot. I can't leave her alone. My heart won't even, bro, I'm in love. Like this person now, I feel like he was trying to act like it wasn't that. Because he started falling in love with you, right? But this is somebody here like, no, nah, maybe it's not that. Because I told myself I wasn't going to fall in love. I said I wasn't going to never fall again. So he 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 trying to con convince himself that it ain't that. Because he told himself he wasn't going to do that. But he couldn't stop it. Y'all, and, and it's something that happened organically. It happened naturally. You did not force this man to love you. You did not force this man to feel this way. You didn't force this man to, y'all, ha have this deep love for you. You didn't. This man fell in love with you over time, and it's deep, and it happened naturally, and that's the way that it's supposed to be. You know what I'm saying? And you got this man messed up. You He like, woo, she got me in my feelings. You got this man in his feelings. You hear me? But baby, just know he done fell in love with you. Okay. Yeah, look. Look, this person's love language. Uh, words of affirmation. Now, this could be yours or this person. Want to hear you say how much you appreciate or admire them. Now, collective, that could be you. Because this person want to come in making it work by any means. And I feel like intuitive, you all could have known that this person loved you, right? But maybe he never just really said it like that, right? So maybe this is your love language collective. You wanting you want to hear this man say, like, look, I appreciate you. I love you. I admire you. I want to be with you. You know what I'm saying? You want to hear that. You want to hear this man say that. It's like you you could be an action person, like you know, action speak louder than words, but at the same time, it's nothing better than hearing it come from the person's mouth. Like, look, I love you. And, you know, people can say anything, y'all. People can say stuff and don't put no action behind it and don't show you at all. Because sometimes talk is cheap. But still, at the same time, you want to hear, I love you. I care about you. Out a person mouth. I don't care what nobody say. So, Divine Feminine, I feel like y'all love language could be words of affirmation where you want to hear this man tell you, I love you. I want to be with you. I'm ready to be committed. And it's like he can come in and do little things. Y'all can have fun all day. But you like, baby, where we going? What we going? What we, what we going to do? We going to barbecue? We going to meet a dude? Is we is this relationship going somewhere? Like, what is this? What is we? What we, what we doing here? So you want to hear it. You and he know you 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 want to hear it. He know it. He know it. He know it. And and he is gonna say it. Because he knows that it's something that's needed. And he needs to speak from his heart and tell you how he feels instead of trying to hold back. 
You know what I'm saying? But collected, this person loves how natural you are. All right, he loves the fact that you're beautiful. You don't have to try hard to be beautiful. You somebody here that, that you don't even wear makeup or you don't have to wear makeup. If you wear makeup, that's fine. But I'm picking up on somebody here that wear that don't wear no makeup or you maybe wear makeup on occasion and it's still at a minimum. And you don't have to try hard to be beautiful. I, you know what I'm saying? Like you can you can put on a t-shirt and some cute little jeans, some little cute little Reebok Nikes or whatever kind of tennis shoes you like or you wear or whatever uh, or, or some cute little kitten heels and a, and, a, and a little maxi dress or something like that y'all okay about ten dollars twenty dollars and baby that's it you know what I'm saying this person love how authentic you are and you don't have to try hard baby you go to Walmart and get you some of them them leggings that they have for $4.99, $5, and throw you on that $5 teach graphic shirt that they be having. Baby, you hear me? Your person loved it. He loved it. You know what I'm saying? I, now, it do show that your person in regret. But I feel like he in regret for not telling you how he feel. His, how he really feel. This is somebody here, y'all, I feel like went so long without telling you that he loved you. Trying to make it seem like it's not that. When it was really that. This is somebody here that wanted to keep his options open at one point. But he fell in love with you. And I feel like it was like he was trying to keep you there. I feel like until he got done. You know, running around having fun mingling. So he kept it to himself. But he was in love with you the whole time. Okay. Yeah, it do show where he want to give you equal give and take, okay? So, I do feel like y'all gave and gave and gave and gave and gave in the past, you know what I'm saying? And, like, now he's ready to give to you. Like, now he's ready to give you love, you know what I'm saying? It, baby, it's like that man ain't dangerous letting love with you, okay? He love you. He love you. He love you. Yes, he do. <laughs> baby okay that is beyonce dangerously in love okay but you know you got uh this person want to go on a boat ride or some type of cruise or something like that that's something that your person is planning a boat ride or a cruise y'all he might want to go on a cruise for like a week you know they be having them cruises where you can go for like five or seven days you know what I'm saying? He could want to do something like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's something that this man is planning. A cruise, y'all. Yeah. Oh, my God. Y'all, you got proposed. This man could be proposing to you when y'all go on this cruise or something like that or this boat. You got holding on to you for dear life. Don't want to. Yeah, because this person don't want to lose. This is somebody here that know that you've been waiting a very long time for him to commit to you. You know what I'm saying? And he's saying, let's go have on a baby. This man want a baby with you. Okay. Now, if in the past he ghosted you or something like that, he ghosting folks now. Okay. That's if he if he did, you know, kind of ghost you or you didn't hear from him and whatever. He couldn't people off for this relationship. He don't want to have to keep his options open no more. You know what I'm saying? He's serious. Like, he want a relationship now. Okay? But, baby, when I tell you this man is ready to propose to you, like, he ready to... It's like, I want to show you how serious I am. Yes, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you, but I want to show you. Like, I really feel like this person is really a doer. Like, I want you to show me how much you love me. I want to show you how much I love you. Like, maybe because, maybe in the past, y'all, people could have told this person all the time, I care about you. I love you. If you ever need anything, you can come ask me. And they always disappointed him. So, he like, bro, you can't tell me that you love me or you care about me. Like, bro, show me. Prove it then. So, I feel like this is why this person is like he is now. It's because maybe he was disappointed when people said these things to him in the past so it's like now it's like bro you got to show me 
But but at the same time, he got to realize that, or he has realized that because of things that he went through, he's like that, but not everybody is like that. And you want to hear him say it. Of course, you want somebody to show you, but you want to hear him say, look, I love you and I want to be with you and show you. So you want to hear him say it and you want him to show you versus him. He could be somebody that's like, I just want you to show me. You ain't got to say it, just show me. But he, he could be realizing like everybody ain't the same, bro. She ain't like me. Maybe she just want to hear me say it. You know what I'm saying? To give her that, you know, that, that clarity and whatever, you know. But baby, this person definitely is wanting a baby with you, okay? And he's saying, look, we will be together when it's all said and done. You are the one for me. You the only one for this person, okay? You are the one for this person here, okay? Look, y'all know I know what I be talking about. Y'all know I know what I be talking about. Okay, you got magnetic, an uh, unexplainable pull. Can't resist. This person cannot resist you. It's, it's unexplainable. It's like, bro, what is it about this woman? I cannot leave her alone. Okay, what's that? I can't leave him alone. Dun, 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 da, 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 I think that's Sierra or something like that. That's her song. I can't leave him alone. That's how this person feel about you. He cannot leave you alone. Okay. It's unexplained, but he just can't resist. Okay. But that's because it's meant to be. You already had the ace of wands. You already had the ace of wands. And then, then I tell you, I seen the Ace of Cups on the back. Okay? So, it was definitely meant for you all to be together. But that's because God is putting y'all together. You know? I feel like this person had relationship anxiety. Because people betrayed this man in the past. And he was scared to put his heart into something. Because look, pretending he was dealing with he was dealing with a woman or women in his past that was pretending, fake living above a means, you know what I'm saying? Like users. These are people here, y'all, that look good, that could look good, that could dress nice, but they ain't got a a, a pot to piss in and a window to throw it out. Literally. And your person could be a baller, shot caller, okay? He could be somebody, it's, it's kind of giving me like the king of pentacles energy, all right? And women flock to your person because they felt like they could use him. You know what I'm saying? They didn't have to do much because he would spoil them. He would get them this. They could get his money and this and that. And your person like, bro, no, I, you ain't finna come over here and use me. You ain't finna come over here and just take my money. Like, no. So, you know, your person got into the energy like, you know what? I don't want to be committed no more. I don't want to, I don't want to invest my time and my energy or none of that in another relationship. Because all of them in the past, he wasted his time and he got hurt and he got played and he got used. So he like, no, I'm not doing it. Not no more. I'm not investing my time into it no more. Because it ain't for me, apparently. But now he's saying that it is. Okay? But he was he was dealing with women that really only wanted to use him. Okay? Yeah, look. And whoever this is that was fake living above their means or somebody here could be gossiping. You got petty, jealous, and envy, envious. So this person here, it's, it's one particular person that your person used to deal with that's, that's petty and envious and jealous. And she got, a, let me see how many people this is. One, two, three, four, five. It could be five friends that she got, okay, 
uh, and and they could all be sitting around talking about you. And this is somebody here that's already fake living above their means and really ain't got it like that, right? But somehow you end up coming up in the conversation and all of them be laughing at you. But it really be that they really don't have nothing really to talk about. It's just that these people are petty and they're jealous and they're envious. Why? Because the person that she fumbled, the person that she used or cheated on and lied to, want you. And she know that this was a good person. She know it. And so she's upset. You see what I'm saying? Oh, look at her, girl. Look at her hair. Look at her shoes. Look how she dressed, girl. Oh, look at her car. Look at that. Oh, baby, don't let this person know your social media. Her and her friends on, on your social media looking at it. Okay? And and the one that I feel like was that used to be with your person, it's like, oh, no, girl, look out. Oh, my God. Huh? That's that what I'm getting because the woman in this picture is like hysterically laughing. But you got the friends like, oh, wait. Like they can tell that she's petty and jealous and envious. But you know, it's, that's their friend. So they like, yeah, girl, and look, girl. But you got one of these friends like, oh, my God, my friend, something is wrong with her. Because it's it's it, look, it actually looks like it's two out of, the, out of the five friends that's like, you really being extra, but they ain't saying nothing because that's their friend and they know she really hurt and that's why she acting out. Yeah, but this was somebody fake living above their means. They really don't be having it like that. Okay. Yeah, your person, okay, had to remove whatever this person did right here, this gossip girl, this drama queen, this karmic ex out of his energy. Okay, so he could be saging because in his picture cleansing, it got a sage, a smudge stick. So he could definitely be uh, clearing his space. He could be meditating, removing negativity. And part of it was he had to heal from whatever this person that's trying to clown you and gossip about you. He had to remove this person out of his en energy because that's the reason why he couldn't move on with you or with nobody else. It's because he was holding on to the hurt and pain that that person did to him. And she up here laughing when she cheated and lied on this man and used him and abused him and did all of that to him. But it's because she knows she fumbled a good person. That's all. And she mad she can't get him back. And she mad that he moving on. And she mad that he wants you. Okay, your person is about to confess how he truly feel about you. Okay. And he finna tell you he want a commitment, long-term relationship. This confession getting ready to come. It could be over a cup of coffee. Some of you all might not have seen this man in a long time. And he could be, y'all could be meaning to get some tea or some coffee or something. And then he can be like, well, look. I feel like once y'all have this meeting or something, meet up over this coffee or this tea or wherever, he gonna be like, I feel like that's just to see where your head at like do you want to get it are you willing to talk to him and, and like work on it and then that's when he gonna be he gonna say well look do you want to go on a cruise or do you want to go do this and i'm telling you it's something about a boat ride and a cruise i'm telling you and he want to do that okay but he definitely gonna be confessing and telling you that he want a long-term relationship and a commitment and this woman and man on this picture got a, a wedding dress on in the tux. Okay. Yeah. Y'all, this could be something that's getting ready to happen, okay, in a in a few days or weeks or or months. Like it's not it's not gonna be over no year. Like it got days and weeks and months. So this is something that's literally getting close okay this is getting close of this man getting ready to confess how he feel here okay i do feel like he was trapped at one point y'all okay like and like in his head and i feel like that was really the anxiety and whatever relationship anxiety because of this petty betty this petty woman 
You know what I'm saying? But just know, proposed came out and then committed, commitment and long-term relationship came out. So that is double confirmation that this man want to propose to you. He wants something long-term with you. Like that is his intentions when he come back in. Like he's not going to be in and out hot and cold, not knowing what he want, wanting to keep his options open. Like no, like he's ready to be committed. And this is something that's getting ready to happen sooner than you think, collective. Okay, I'm not getting no years. No, I'm getting days and weeks. Like it did, y'all, it's what, July? Okay. I feel like by the end of the year, this man gonna be telling you how he feel and, and y'all gonna be engaged. Okay. Yep. This is something that you don't even see coming. But it's coming. And I feel like God could be wanting to surprise you with this here. Okay. Yes. Your person like, look, let's turn. Let's turn nothing to something. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You the talk of the town. Everybody want to know what's going on between you and this person. They want to know what's up. I feel like people want to know who is this woman that's finally getting this man to commit. Because I, like I said, this is somebody here, y'all, I'm telling you. Had them, them women's, and he had his options open. And at one point, he was not looking to settle down. And I feel like it was so many women trying to get this man to settle down, and they couldn't. But you the one that he choosing, and, and you the talk of the town, which is why I said that, that whoever that person used to be with, her and her friends is up here talking about you. You know what I'm saying? Out of pettiness, out of envy and jealousy, because they know this is somebody here... Like I said, the friends don't witness what this man do when he committed in, in a relationship. And they know she jealous. They know it. They know it. Like, golly, I done messed up. Yes, whoever this person is has messed up. But your person is crazy about you, and he can't do without you, okay? He crazy about you. Y'all got a father in heaven that's protecting you and watching over you. This could be very specific for somebody. Yeah. Your person feel like because this is like one, this is something that happens once in a lifetime. All right. It's like he ready to go all in here. Like he getting ready to be. Whatever it is that you pray for, it's like you're getting ready to get that in this man. Okay. It's like God has been preparing this man for you. I'm talking about dang near perfect. You hear me? Yeah, your person feel like it's divine. And I feel like your person loves the fact that um, you, you was there even though you didn't have to be. You know? Y'all got definitely a father in heaven protecting you and watching over you here. Okay, and that could be very specific for somebody here that has definitely had a father pass away. Let's see, anything else here? I think this is it. <clears throat> Yeah, this is it, y'all. So, I'm going to leave it right there. I hope that this resonated in some way and gave you all some type of clarity. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your donations. Thank you for booking personal readings with me. God love you, and I do too. Bye, y'all.